The liberation of uh, the northern part of Mali has brought definitely a lot of new opportunities for the humanitarians to provide um, some assistance that couldn't be provided before. We have gained access to Timbuktu, Gao, Kidal cities. Kidal is not so clear yet. But then a new phenomenon has appeared, for example, uh, which is the presence of landmines, the proliferation of unexploded ordnance in some areas, and this represents a serious problem. We have, as well, a persisting situation of insecurity in the north. You know, the problems um, might be less in these cities uh, that I mentioned, but then we have a number of violent activities and incidents happening in rural areas, in the hinterland between these three main cities. And, and that represents a serious problem of access. We have seen that the social tissue in places like Timbuktu is broken. The Arab and Tuareg communities, they have left uh, these areas in fear of retaliation. That is dramatic in, a, in an area of Mali, which is very diverse, particularly diverse, I would say. There are some practical implications, such as in the case of Timbuktu, uh, because a lot of the economy used to be run before the war by these groups. It's been run by them for thousands of years but now they are absent. So, to a great extent, the economic engine of the North has come to a stop. The food security situation in the North of Mali is of concern for several reasons. First, because not so much food was produced over the last so many months, because many of the hands of the farmers, they were away. Something that needs to happen urgently is that these farmers, they return and they start producing again and they start bringing food into the markets so that the prices of food will become um, uh, affordable for those who are not cultivating. One situation that we are facing now in relation to the food security crisis is that we are certain that the weather uh, within the next two years will be adverse again. The estimations of the food security cluster is that 1.3 million people up in the north of Mali are in immediate uh, need of food assistance. This is like the immediate concern, the immediate need. We have to feed these people today, but we have to think in terms of food, stocks, seeds and tools that the resilience of that people, of those farmers, needs to be built up again. And that is a longer term job. So on the one hand, we need to assist them now. We need to make sure that there will be food enough for these people not, not to die right now. And on the other, we need to make sure that they will get the resilience or the self-sufficiency that will allow them to go through the next crisis, because a next drought crisis there will be.